For the vast majority of us, the prospect of needing help with our everyday activities is something we'd rather ignore. Add in the prospect of financial hardship and there is even more reason to put it off. But, like most things, an understanding of the process can go a long way towards making these issues more manageable. And in this Retirement Matters video, we'll be discussing the process of being assessed for help with care needs. It is the legal duty of your local authority to carry out something called a care needs assessment. This process will determine the level of care that you need and who must pay for it. Now, if you think that you may need some help with care, you can request that your local authority carry out an assessment for you. This can usually take place at your home and it will be carried out by a trained professional, maybe a social worker. You might want to have a family member there with you so that you can share everything that is discussed with them. The assessor is looking to find out how much you can do for yourself and how much you may need help with. They will also assess the likely cost for the support that you need and this is called the local authority rate. Now local authority care is means tested so the assessor will ask for details of savings and investments held in your name and in joint names with your partner. To assess your ability to pay for care they will also consider your income levels and where your income is paid from. There are three possible outcomes from the care needs assessment. The local authority will agree to pay your care costs in full, they will agree to meet some of the costs and you must make up the difference, or they will leave you to fund the full cost of your care. If the local authority decide that you have met their criteria for getting help with care costs, then a care and support plan will be drawn up for you. If you don't qualify for help with care costs, don't worry. There are other options you might consider, such as taking out an insurance product called a care plan or using the equity in your home. You should also make sure that you are claiming all the state benefits you may be eligible for, such as attendance allowance. The local authority will assume that you are doing so and they will factor this into their assessment. It might be tempting to try and give some of your money away, perhaps to your family, so that it can't be included as part of your care needs assessment. This is called deliberate deprivation of assets and it's a really bad idea. You see, the local authority has the power to check that no large transactions have happened, which may be seen as trying to increase the chances of qualifying for funding. The care needs assessment is an important process if you or someone you love may need care in the near future. The local authority is there to help you in as fair a way as possible. And if you're in any doubt about funding options for care, you can always talk to a professional financial advisor. Thanks for watching.